going on everyone? I know my hair is a mess, but today is beautiful and it is a beautiful Columbus Day, a day in my country where we celebrate a man for taking somebody else's land and committing mass genocide. So, without further ado, I want to do a giveaway for you guys because I promised last week that I would give something away for 2,000 subscribers and I have decided on what I want to give away and it is something very exceptional. It is this authentic United States soccer jersey they wore back in 2013 and 2014, I believe, were the years that they wore this. This was their away shirt, as you can see. It says authentic right there on the Nike tag. There is T-tape on the shoulders for the player's fit, and it is a bit of a tight fit. It's listed as a large but it fits like a medium. Again, you can see ventilation on the sides, good quality material, and you have the United States flag on the inside of the neckline. Really, really nice shirt. The uh, badge is hot pressed on there. Same with the Nike logo. So I really want to give this away to one of you guys, and I'll sign it for you, but you don't want my handwriting on your jersey, do you? Um, but yeah, I want to give this away to one of you guys, so what you just got to comment in the comments below is dos a cero, dos a cero, just a little, uh, little heads up for you Mexico fans coming up on November the 11th, so I want to give this away to one of you guys, again, it's a large, but it fits like a medium, so really, uh, both sizes can wear it, uh, it's a really nice jersey, and I want to give it away to one of you guys. Now, what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is, seems complicated, but is surprisingly simple. So, what I'm going to do is we're in Photoshop here, and we're just going to want to go and load in our background, and it's just going to be a dark, deep red, almost a mahogany. So, something like that. And we'll just load that in there with the paint bucket tool. Now, we'll go to the next layer, and what I'm going to show you is we are going to add in a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, the player that I'm going to be using in this is Patrick Willis. He's an NFL player, uh, former NFL player, for the San Francisco 49ers, was an absolute legendary linebacker for them. So we're going to want to unrasterize that. Just click the eraser button and click on the image. And we're going to go and put a topaz filter on it. So we're just going to do one quick, real easy adjust layer, dynamic pop, not anything too much, and just lower the transparency a bit. That's perfect, that's all we need. So what we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna wanna click Command U and just take down the saturation all the way. And now what we're gonna do is go to Overlay and we are going to go into a layer mask, fill the layer mask with black. And what I've done a lot of times in these videos, I, I like to do this, I like to fill layer masks with black and then just sort of color in or brush in my image. So. I uh, want to keep the lines out of it. And there we go. may not look like much now, but it will look stunning later. This is an idea that I came up with last night, and I was just, I was surprised how easy it is because the way it looks, it looks so difficult. So we're then going to want to click here one, two more times. You may be surprised, but just keep watching. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new layer and make it white is our selected color. Now we're going to go in here to a brush uh, that we have. I will link this in the description. It's going to be in a Google Drive link. I can direct you to it if you guys need any help. But let's see if I can find it in the first place. So we're just scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. By the way, quick update. The New York Giants, the football team, local team, lost last night on Sunday Night Football to the Packers. I'm in a distraught mood. What do you guys think? Should the Giants consider... Looking at QB prospects because Eli looked so terrible last night. He must have missed three or four throws that guaranteed touchdowns. Just overshot him or undershot him or threw it behind him, wherever it was. It was He looked really uncomfortable last night. And that defensive line, they could not get to Aaron Rodgers. That was, it was, uh, they do this every week to me, you know, it's not even like it's unexpected anymore. All right, so we found him now. We're going to want to click on this 965 brush right here. And just come in here, size it up a bit, and we'll go here and why not? We'll shape dynamics and eh, we'll adjust the angle 100%. And we're just going to want to click around. Just click around, click around. 
And you'll be surprised what I'm putting in the middle here, but you'll see in the future as to why that's relevant. And we'll just want to get the edges in, you know, why not? All right, seems pretty good. Now we're going to come in here and go to overlay. And one, two, three, four. Seems pretty good. All right, we're getting there. Now we are going to want to go to a image, which I really, really like. And it is an image of rings of fire. So we'll bring in the rings of fire here. We're just going to want to size them up nice and big. And we will go to screen. And th this this ring is, is good, but it's not big enough. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to click Command J. And then with my next layer, go to Command T, size it down a little bit, and then rotate it. So, you know, I just go on the edge there. So now we have more even and bigger ring of fire. You can make the ring of fire really as big as you want. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are actually going to drag. Oh, what's going on with my voice? We are going to drag in. Patrick Willis, and we are just going to want to put a topaz filter on him, so I'm going to kick it into time lapse. We'll bring it back to the video in one second. Stay tuned. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk along. I walk this empty Now, as you can see, the picture is starting to shape up very, very nicely. So we've dragged in our cutout Patrick Willis as he has been skinned. And we've brought him into our picture. And we're just going to want to put him dead smack in the middle. No rule of thirds here, just, just right in the middle. Um, so what we're going to want to do next is we are just going to want to come back in here to our file of many files. And um, I'm going to leave all these in the description below, all these pictures on, in a Google Drive link again. if Because I got some word that there was problems with the Google Drive link I left last time. Let me know what's going on and uh, shoot me a DM. Send me a picture so I know what you're talking about. Because um, I'd be happy to help you. You know, that's the whole point of me putting those links down there. Um, but anyways, so we have this fire here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put it on screen. We're going to want to go here and rasterize it. And now, something that I want to do, and I did this, and I was surprised how well it worked. We're going to go into Topaz Adjust and go to Heavy Pop Grunge and just, just click that. And it looks so much better for some reason. It, it just looks way better. I, I don't know what it was, but it just it looks so, so good. Um, and so we're going to want to go and click Command J now and go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. So now we have a more evenly distributed fire, but we still need something for the middle as there's a bit of a gap there. So we'll come in here and bring in this better looking fire for this example. And this one's already dark, so we don't really need to use the, the grunge, the heavy pop grunge or whatever it was. Um, we can just leave that there. And if you want, you can add some more brightness or duplicate the fires or whatever, but, but it's fine. Um, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to want to Take this Patrick Willis, we are going to want to duplicate him, we are going to want to go to Command U, and for either one of them, it really doesn't matter, you're just going to want to put the saturation to zero. We're going to put the one with the saturation at zero under the one with the saturation that's high. We're going to go to the one with saturation that's regular, put a layer mask on it, and make it black. So if you didn't understand that, duplicate, make one of them black and white, and put a layer mask full black on the one that's in color. So now, with that layer mask, we're just going to use a basic brush. I don't know what is with my voice today. It sounds so weird. I just get loss of oxygen sometimes. I don't know. Um, that seems like more of a problem than it should be. Um, and we're just going to want to paint. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Totally lost plot here. Um, what we're going to want to do is paint in the jersey. So, sorry. I had a total loss of... Um, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. My, my words are all messed up. You know, I could color in the skin and just make that, um, you know, the color that, or make it black and white, you know, but I screwed it up. So didn't want to end up making a fool of myself here. Um, so we'll just color in the jersey, and that'll give me more time to just think and ponder about life. What is life? All right. So we're continuing on here, don't forget the pants, get the pants, and it's really not too much of a difference, it, it wasn't a big mistake. 
As long as you guys don't care, I don't care. Get the gloves in as well, as those are colored. Um, just basically anything that's not skin. So all this stuff on his helmet, we want colored. Um, I think that's about it. We'll get this side of his jersey here. And that's looking, that's looking pretty quality. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. So continuing on now, we have the black and white Willis skin. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to throw on top of all this, a warming filter. So go here to a photo filter and go to warming filter and we'll turn that up to about 70 no about 50 percent i like that about 50 or so percent and what we're going to want to do now is we are going to want to go to a grunge texture that we have and that's this one right here again link description below you guys get it um and we're just going to want to size it up all the way to the image. And we are going to want to put that on soft light. And looks pretty good, not going to lie. All right. And now the next one, we are going to want to put a dark grunge texture. And we are going to want to put this one, again, all the way up the size of the image. And we are going to want to put this one on, say... We'll go with soft light again. And what we're going to want to do is we'll put it a little bit less, a little bit less than the first one. But what we're going to do is we're going to want to create another layer mask, fill it with black, but only in the middle. We're only going to really use this one in the middle because that's where I like it. I like it in the middle. Uh, again, soft brush. Sorry, using the hard brush. Shouldn't have done that. As we're going to want it to be a little bit darker on Willis himself. So that's looking pretty good there. And now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to put a red and orange gradient map. So get a red and green one and make the other side where it was green. We'll make it orange, orange-ish. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe a bit bright, but we'll, we'll keep it like that. And we're going to want to put that on soft light. Now that's a bit overpowering. So we're going to want to go down to about 27 or so percent. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take up the warming filter a bunch more because I don't think it looks as good with it down. Um, and finally, the last step is essentially combining these layers. Uh, press both of them by going to Shift and then go to Command uh, E to combine them. We'll put a layer mask over our new Willis. And we're just going to want to go here and just brush him in. Make sure every bit of him is in at the top, and we're just going to have him fading into the fire. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the background a little bit darker. So I think that looks a little bit better. And maybe take out one of these, too. Or all these. No, we won't take out one. We'll leave. We'll leave. They look good. They look good. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that that's about it. Maybe, maybe you know what? We'll add a photo filter here in the back of a warming a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. So I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to mess with it. We got pink there for breast cancer awareness. That was unintentional, by the way. Um, that's essentially it, guys. One eternity later. All right, made a few adjustments, just a little bit. I took out one of the particle explosions. I uh, adjusted the color of the background a little bit to make it a little bit more orange. I added a, another gradient map. It was black to white, soft light, 26%. Uh, and uh, just made the whole central center part of the image bigger. So finally done with this picture. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys can find some inspiration from this from your own. And remember... Shirt is folded up. It's ready to be sent out. Remember, dos a cero in the comments below if you want a chance to win this authentic United States soccer jersey. So, if this video helped you in any way, please remember to give it a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
The shirt's okay, guys. I promise. Seriously. Seriously. Go enter the, the giveaway.